Our High Court has dismissed a bail application by lawyers for the seven persons standing trial for allegedly plotting to destabilize the country. The court is of the view looking at the persons involved, which include military officers. Releasing them on bail could jeopardize ongoing investigations. Counsel for the accused moving the bail application told the court his clients were only procuring the guns to protect themselves and as such prosecution has not provided evidence to show they were planning to overthrow the government praying the court to grant them bail so they appear before the court as and when they are needed. However, senior state attorney Hilda Krenzel told the court prosecution is convinced and has overwhelming evidence that the accused persons had intention to overthrow the government and will lead evidence to show that at the appropriate time. She also made a point that some of them are senior military officers, others are seven soldiers and the state intends to call witnesses who are also soldiers and this could interfere in investigations. The court presided over by Justice Boydi in his ruling refused to grant application for bail for all seven individuals noting that the senior officer who is the director of maintenance at the Ghana Armed Forces could interfere in investigations. With the lower ranked military officers, Justice Buedi also explained in the history of Ghana, junior officers have at various points overthrown government, so their role cannot be underestimated, adding that they have not been unlawfully detained but remanded by a court hence dismissing the application. Meanwhile, a district court in Accra has directed state prosecutors in a case involving the nine people facing treason charges to forward the docket of their investigations to the Attorney General's office before the adjourned date. The order follows a request by the prosecutors for the court to remand the suspects again because they were not done with their investigations. The request by the state did not go down well with the defense counsel who questioned the duration of the investigations. The magistrate Eleanor Bansbuki, who was also not happy with duration of the investigations, asked prosecution to quicken the process for a bill of indictment to be presented to the court. The case has been adjourned to November 20.